Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Nuclear Chemistry and Half-Life Problems. All right, so a really important part of nuclear chemistry is figuring out the half-life of some of the reagents we're using. And the half-life is the amount of time it takes for half of the material to decompose. So if we have a lot of radioactive stuff, it'll just naturally decompose on its own. And the half-life is how many time, how long it takes for half of it to just be gone or turn to something else. So the equation we use to figure out half-life and how much we have left is the amount remaining equals the original amount times one half to the power, so it's an exponent, to the power of the number of half-lives. All right, so with that equation, let's take a look at a typical half-life problem. The half-life of zinc 71 is 2.4 minutes. How much is left after 10 minutes if you start with 15 grams. All right, so first thing, we have to figure out how many half-lives have passed since our original start of the problem. And we know that it's been 10 minutes, and the half-life is 2.4, so to figure out how many half-lives have passed, we simply divide 10 by 2.4, and this happens to equal 4.17 half-lives. So remember, it doesn't have to be an integer. It's okay that we have 4.17. So now we have our number to plug into here. And we're already given the original amount, that's 15 grams, and so we're ready to find out how much is left. So our equation will look like 15 grams times 1 half to the power of 4.17. All right, and so when we solve for this, we get 0 0.83. Remember, we're still in grams because we're trying to find out an amount. All right, so let's just go ahead and double check our work to make sure this makes sense. So remember, a half-life is how many times, how long it takes for half of that material to you know, decompose so if we knew that we started with 15 grams, after one half-life, we'll have 7.5 grams left. Uh, and remember, we had a little bit over four half-lives, so let's just estimate what that would be like. So 7.5 over two equals 3.75, so we know that after two half-lives, this is how much we'll have left. And now if we take 3.75, over two, that equals 1.875 grams. This is now three half-lives, and let's do our last full half-life. So 1.875 grams over two equals 0 0.938 grams. That's half-life number four. And so remember, we already solved the problem. This is just a good double check to make sure what we did makes sense. So if we naturally just divide each number by two four times, we're at 0 0.93 grams. And we know that we had a little bit over four half-lives, so our number should be a little bit less than 0 0.93. And remember, we got 0 0.83 as our answer, so that's correct. We did the problem correctly. And this can be used for any problem where you know the half-life and the original amount. Um, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to determine the half-life in nuclear equations.